is to the Prime Minister. Just get a grip of the testing crisis. And please, please stop allowing your colleagues to put out the line, we're working really hard. This is our number one priority. Prime Minister, clearly it's gone wrong. I wouldn't want to be doing it either. This is a mammoth task. But continually telling us that we're working hard, it's our number one priority, we're ramping up, that is not good enough. We deserve to know, Prime Minister, why it has gone wrong. Tell us why it's gone, because we are all in this together. It gives me no pleasure to highlight the inadequacies of your government and your colleagues' abject and appalling failure to answer questions. I get no pleasure from that whatsoever at the moment. Quite fun in good times, no fun at the moment. My listeners, many of them are actually petrified and pleading to be tested. And your pathetic, your government's not you personally, pathetic lame excuses, they are threadbare now. Enough already. I appreciate you're not well enough and I wish you a speedy recovery. Neither is the health secretary. Get one of the senior blokes who is, get them up on the press conference today to say, right, we draw a line here. It didn't work. It didn't work because of A, B, C. Now it will work because of one, two, three. And when the questions come in, damn well answer them. Don't say, that's a great question. Thank you very much indeed. We're working very hard. And here's Professor Whoop Whoop of the NHS with details. Enough.